So we're at uh, this park. This is Normandale. Or Normandy? One or the other. It's just the most catfish skate park ever. Uh, it's funny because Isaac said he didn't know what was wrong with it. He was like, I always hear people complain about this park and I have no idea why. And then that, once he got here, he was just like, oh, I get it now. It's like, it's crazy on how good it looks. But just the cracks are not that great. The ground's not level anywhere. The, I mean, I'm sure you've had it pointed out to you in a hundred videos, but the welding on the rails, like you can't really do blunt slides or no slides because the bottom rails, like the support bars are thicker than the top bars for some weird reason. So like you like clink when you do like deep Smith grinds and stuff too. Uh, and yeah, just the dimensions of everything are terrible. It's rough. Uh, the quarter pipes aren't quarter pipes. Like this is like a bank thing. It looks like a quarter pipe, but the transition kind of stops at a weird spot and then like mellows out. Like it's weird because when you look at it from the side, this looks normal. Well, I guess you can kind of see it goes flat right there, but it gets really bad in the middle like this, like a hump. And then this is just like lumps of concrete that are more of rollovers than banks, but you see the sharp corners on the tip, so it like looks like it's gonna be good. But right now it's just uh, Johnny, Isaac, and me, and then John Bradford's also here, and Victor and Kenny and Deville, but they're like, Bradford's trying to like go film this gap thing. That's a kind of a big bus, so. We had to divide up. We didn't want 100 people at the spot to get them kicked out sooner. Yes. Front crookie 50. What's really annoying is the best ledge in the entire skate park. Is this one right here. It's no run up, no landing. It's good dimensions though. It would be a good ledge. Oh my god. Coastside on that thing is death. Well, that's one way to get that rail. Oh, that's kind of the only way to get to it, huh? I didn't even think about that. Yes. So it's always been hard to get to this bump the thing front side because of this crap's in the way. And he's just like Ollie's in right here. I didn't even think about. We always complain about there's no purpose to this little design right here. Isaac created a purpose for it. There you go. Whoa! It's going right for it? Jesus. Ooh. Nice and vertical. I want to see this 270 lip. Structured. There it is. Wow. Dude, that bump rail sucks. No one ever skates it. Just the bump is just kind of wonky. Yeah, John. Knee. even more solid. Back tail. A little fakey. Classic. When you think of front salad, who do you think is like the dude? Like I think everyone pretty much thinks of Matt Allen, but I think Brian Chapa is uh, worth mentioning too. He front salad at El Toro in like the early 2000s, but he didn't have the right sponsors, so no one really heard about it. Yes. Ooh, switch Isaac. Oh, 
like that. I was just like, oh yeah, that bump to thing's cool too. And he's like, is it uh doesn't finish your sentence and then just goes in 50 50s it. I think he was gonna ask what material it was. Look how this rail right here is bent. I don't know if you can totally see, but it's like bent outward. Oh, yeah, do that. Ah. Whoa. I think we found a weekend for Isaac. Johnny just gets right into it. It's like when we went to that 14 stair shotgun rail the other day, he didn't board side it. First trick he was back lit. Like he just doesn't waste any time or energy warming up. He's just like, I can do these tricks and just goes and does them. I'm sure you can tell, this is like a decent sized rail. Like it's not like a little tapper. It's not quite a handrail, but it's not super far off. I also do find it amusing that like the stairs run straight into this thing. Getting them down. Whoa. Another thing I noticed about this park is it always has tiny rocks everywhere. And the ground, even though it's like wonky and wavy, it is smooth. So you just get stuck on them all the time. Another one for good measure. Yeah, the fakey. Whenever I watch these guys skate handrails, I like, get so confident that I can skate rails by the way they get out of everything. Like it seems like so much goes wrong, but then they're completely fine. They just have like such good fail out of a handrail muscle memory that they just are always safe. Meanwhile, I like roll my ankle on a slappy curb. So he's never really practicing the fakey. People back with the fakies are very like you're pre-committing to like coming out the fakey as you're flicking in. Because you have to look past your shoulder. And it's like you're basically you're flicking at the rail and saying, I'm not gonna be able to see where I'm going this entire time. You normally see people do like kick look back lips, sit on it, and then go to fakey. It's always like they're already leaning to fakey. Uh, 
That's sick. Oh! I guess we're going to fake it today. What do you mean? Oh, why is the rail bent? Why do you think it's supposed to be like that? No, they, it's not supposed to have this weird kink in it. And this one's even worse. Uh, yeah, they just screwed up. It's my, it's my understanding that skate park designers designed this and then the city built it. Hell yeah. What's up with this random grip tape right here? That's not gonna chip anyone's board. Yes. I do like the design of like a little Euro gap into a mellow bank. I think it feels kind of nice. Yeah. That's a trick you really don't see a lot of kicking from board to fake you. Very bashing Salabonzi of them. <laughs> Best ground. Ooh, that was almost low. See. Woo! Yeah, look how tall that is from here. Popping out of this to this, it's like bump to a very tall handrail. Wow! You got brand new shoes, so the flick's not good yet. To do what I do, I break in one new shoe at a time. Look, brand new shoe, month and a half old shoe. One at a time, baby. Yeah, Isaac. Woo. I think out of all the basic tricks, front crook's like the most Hail Mary. Especially on like ground rails. Uh, the issue is only getting into it though. A lot of people don't realize once you're in a front crook on a round bar, it's actually pretty easy to sit on. Like you, when you front crook a ledge, you're kind of like diagonally off to the side. When you front crook a rail, you start to the side and then you sit straight over top of it. And you can kind of just stand there. It's almost like slightly more cozy to stand there than a backside crooker grind. It's just more scary. But it's, I don't know, there's something about like this toe pinch right here where you're right over top of the rail and the way your shoulders are positioned, it just, I don't know. I mean, the few times that I've tried to like front crook an entire flat bar, when I get into it, right, I just go until it comes to a stop and I go off the end. Woo! That's another one. And just like that, he gets another one. I like how he does that rock willy like revert really fast. Damn. I feel like, especially with new shoes, hard flip's a trick in particular that's like really easy to get stuck on your feet. Cause like it almost has a similar flick to Casper, like going the wrong way, if you don't get your foot out of the way in time. Every try. I want him to bring one back to Fakey though. Oh, you want another one? Oh, you want to go to Fakey? Yeah. Like a ghetto bird slide? Oh, you got. So there's this spot. It's like, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like a tall, wobbly rail thing that uh, I said. Isaac might be able to kick with 50 50, so he's going to practice a couple on this thing. Cause it's like kind of a taller flat bar and so is the spot. Yeah, your confidence in flicking into round bars is so, I'm so envious of that. Woo! I like how your foot was like about to bail for you. You're like, nah, I'll stay on. That's sick. He's going faster on that one too. Wow. He wants to do one more kick with 50 50. I don't know if he plans to go the whole way or if he's gonna pop out early. The first one that he did was off film and it was like, I think second try. And he like cross locked the wrong way but then just popped over. Yeah. Yeah, it was like that. Oh, 
Now what? I want to, I want to pop out. Pop over. There it is. Let me try uh, a couple Smith front three shoves. You can just long lens it. So I saw someone do this on Instagram. They did a front 5.0 slash, came out and re-front 5.0 slash the exact same quarter pipe. So we're gonna try to play with it and learn it on this guy. Since it's slanted down, it's gonna be easier to get back up to it. And then once we figure it out on this, the idea is to do it over there where that really wonky, terrible quarter pipe is. I feel like the first couple ones are gonna be barely at the coping. Like I imagine some of this going on where it's like, we're gonna be like, eh, eh. But eventually I wanna be like, I probably didn't film that at all. So I feel like if I can do that on this one, I can get a decent one on that one. Did I hit it twice? Easy. That was it? Yeah. Yeah, that was more how he did it. Yeah. Cool. That was better. That, to figure it out. That's got to be it. Yup. 